In this tutorial, you will learn how to get started using CircuitPython on Spresence. Go to developer.sony.com, choose Spresence and enter the document section. Here you will find the CircuitPython getting started guide. If you haven't used Spresence before, you might need to install additional drivers. How to do this is described in the Spresence website. Connect the Spresence mainboard to your computer using the USB cable. And once the board has been detected, use the instructions for your operating system to find the name of the serial port. If the Spresence board has not been used before, then you need to prepare it by flashing the bootloader. Download the Spresence binary to your computer after checking and agreeing to the license agreement. To flash binary images on Spresence, we use a tool called FlashWriter, so download this as well. When everything is in place, use the command sequence specified for your operating system to unpack and flash the bootloader to your Spresence board. You can cope with the commands directly from the Getting Started guide. Just make sure to replace the text serial port in the command with the port name that is actually being used on your computer. Now that the board is prepared, it is time to flash the CircuitPython image. Find and download the latest CircuitPython SPK for Spresence to your computer. Note that all the links used in this tutorial are also available in the Getting Started guide. Now it's time to flash the CircuitPython SPK to your board, so use the commands given for your operating system. Once done, connect the Spresence extension board to your PC using the USB cable. This will power the system and also enable serial communication with CircuitPython on the board. When the USB is connected, you should see a new CircuitPy drive appearing in the file system of your computer. When you click on the CircuitPy drive, you can see a file called code.py. This is where your Python application will be stored. Open the MU editor Click the button labeled New in the top left corner to create a new application. For this demonstration, copy and paste the sample code from the website into your editor. Save the file as code.py on the CircuitPy drive, overwriting the existing one. The application will start running automatically on the board, and you should now see one of the LEDs blink once per second. Congratulations! You have just run your first CircuitPython program on Spresence. For more information, 
please visit the Spresence developer site at developer.sony.com slash Spresence.